Hello guys, uh, today I will have a feeding video of the Dajara death adder species. Um, this is I think one of the most beautifully colored Australian Acanthophus. They come from mainland Australia, Dajara Desert, and they are adapted for desert coloring. Uh, this is a male that I have and um, I will film him eat for you. Alright, so I'm gonna give him two fuzzy mice which he will take gladly. Let's see if we can get him to strike. Maybe a bit zoom in. You can see he's interested right away, he's a great feeder. And here we go. The fastest strike in the world. Alright, now let me give you a little information, some information about this species. Again, as I said, they come from the Dajara Desert in mainland Australia. Um, there is still not an accepted species name. Uh, there are two schools of thought. One comes from the internationally celebrated taxonomist Wolfgang Wister and he says his DNA analysis puts these guys in the same group with Acanthophis rugosus which is found mainly in Papua New Guinea um, you know I have to see that DNA analysis I cannot say anything without reading the proper paper but it sounds interesting to me because I know that that adders they do not move much and you know having the same species bought on Papua New Guinea and in the desert in Australia does not make much sense to me but of course as I said uh, you know I have to read the paper first the other school of thought comes from Hoser uh, Raymond Hoser who is a I would say an amateur herpetologist he is not very well liked among the herpetology community uh, due to his you know, aggressive nature in naming things, I would say. He already has one death adder species named and that's Acanthophis valzi, the Pilbara uh, death adder, which is another amazing animal. Uh, but Hoser named this species as a separate species and called them Acanthophis wolfi named after another herpetologist. Now, um, I have read the Hoser paper and Hoser does not give any DNA evidence at all. His evidence is pair, you know, based on scale counts and how the animal looks and the location. So since the whole Acanthophis taxonomy is a giant mess, I think there's going to be a lot of developments when it comes to that. But here in Central Europe, our friend is eating well um, and doing fine. This guy, I got him, I think, uh, last year when he was a tiny baby uh, with uh, his sister. Unfortunately, the sister did not make it. Um, she had an internal problem uh, and she kept regurgitating food until she died. This guy, however, is a pig, eats every time and does not cause tr any trouble. And I'm actually getting, um, this coming September, I'm getting a sub-adult female to use on uh, my you know, future breeding project. Um, I think, again, after the... Um, Kilbara 
Death Adder and maybe the uh, Sydney Red. Uh, these guys are definitely in the top three of best looking Akon Toughest. I'll try to zoom into the scales a little bit, but you know, losing focus is very easy. So I guess this is good enough. Look, it's just that's just like an amazing painting. All right, this guy is doing a great job with the first mouse. Now um, let's focus on the morphology a little bit for uh, my viewers that do not know much about Acanthophis. As you can see, the tail has a tip that is differently colored and it has a small spine attached to it. Now these animals are ambush predators, are filling the niche for vipers in Australia and what they will do is they will use caudal luring to feed which is basically shaking your tail like a worm and eating the animal that comes to eat your tail so hunter gets hunted strategy pretty much alright let's give him the second one now for people who want to keep snakes it's always a better idea to give multiple smaller prey items to snakes rather than giving them one big prey item which may be difficult you know may be difficult for the animal to swallow and cause problems so this guy can now take red pinks easily i think uh, but i still give him uh two muzzy fice of uh, two fuzzy mice sorry for the tongue slip um for him to eat Let's see if he will be interested. There you go. Good boy. Again, <clears throat> whatever you call them. Rugosus or Wolfie. These animals are just amazing. Mainland rare Acanthophis. When we talk about the venom, it's completely neurotoxic, um, postsynaptic neurotoxins, so easily combatable, but without the right antivenin or medicine, uh, the mortality rate is 50%, so it's very dangerous. I think they were on number seven in the most venomous list, so they shouldn't be taken lightly for sure. All right, you got the second one down, and I give you, I gave you the basic information about these animals. I hope uh, you liked him and the video. I think um, you know he's a spectacular specimen, and hopefully I'll be able to breed them sooner or later. All right, thank you.